In this video, I'm going to talk about the speaker icon. That's this one here. And you'll find this throughout the book next to exercise lines, band arrangements, and so forth. And this just provides easy access to the accompaniment recordings or the demonstration tracks. Now, say we're working on When the Saints Go Marching In and I'd like to play along with the accompaniment recording. I simply just click on that speaker icon and it'll automatically start it up. Play. So you'll hear there's no student demonstration track playing. This is just the accompaniment so I can just play along with it. However, if I would like that model, if I'd like that demonstration, right here you'll see the no symbol through the speaker student part here. Just click on that. It'll start the accompaniment over again, this time laying the trombone demonstration on top. Now, if this is too fast for you, we've built in uh, some speed changes here, this dashboard-looking symbol here. And we have three speeds, normal, which is the suggested performance tempo, a speed called slow and one even slower called slower. Just simply click on that dashboard icon and it'll start the track over just a little slower. One, two, three, ready, play. Still too fast? Click on it once more. One, two, three. Ready, play. So this is designed to help you learn the exercise, to help you work out any kinks as you're learning the line, to accommodate different ability levels. One more click and it takes you back to the suggested performance tempo, the normal One, speed. Two, three. Ready, play. Again, it's just designed to help you to learn the exercise and to uh, help you with a successful performance. Now you'll see this middle button here. Let me turn this down a little bit. If I want to turn it down, you just take this volume toggle and that'll bring it down a little bit. But this middle button here is called loop and it's got the no sign through it. If I click on that, it starts it over. Now the loop is turned on. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but when it gets to the end here, it'll just automatically restart the count off and it'll keep going and going and going and going forever until you choose to stop it. This is helpful if you're practicing on your own and you'd like to do one take through with just practicing the fingerings or slide positions or perhaps singing it and the second time through uh, playing through it. If you're a teacher and you have a small group class, this loop is really helpful if you're going down the line to hear each student play this line. It uh, lets you step away from worrying about the accompaniment recording, CD, clicking the computer. And just let the music play and go down the line and listen to each student perform. So that's what this, uh, this loop button does here. I'll turn this back up just a little bit. This is the big pause button. Pretty self-explanatory there. It just stops the music. Play will continue it. This button just takes you back to the beginning of the track. And then up here, this toggle window here allows you to skip around a little bit. And that is an overview of the speaker icon in the Interactive Practice Studio. When you're finished and you'd like to move on to something else, you can simply close this window by using this red X up here.